Good evening, and welcome back to Dark Souls 3. I have just enough souls after our escapades in the previous videos to level up. Welcome, host. So I'm gonna do that. Very well, then Tophaken. I have no idea what I want to level up, though. Honestly, more vigor wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. More HP is always a good thing to have. But I also, I mean, strength is pretty good. Uh, the choices. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of vitality. We're gonna raise that up just a tiny little bit. Farewell, Ashley. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Oh, I want to check up on um, upgrading our shield. Maybe it would increase the stability. 57. Would it increase it a lot? That's my main question. If it's only one point of stability, I, that doesn't feel terribly significant. That's what I'm expecting. Ah, and I know I don't have enough souls to do it anyway. We don't have any S to shards, and yeah, okay, that's fine. Fours. What would that do? Yeah, one point. So. Pretty be careful. I don't know if um, more upgrades would give uh, more stability per upgrade. Also, I'm going to do a little experiment here. So, uh, like, roll speed. We unequip, you know, everything that we're holding there. What does that put me? 24% equip load. Yeah, we move significantly faster with the dodge rolls. And I think... It looks like they're taking less stamina to do as well. Okay, I just had to double check that. Sorry, I get paranoid about that sort of thing sometimes. Uh, yeah, wait, shield... War God shield, yeah, it's pretty good for what it is. Not great against magic, but it's pretty okay against everything else. Yeah, I'm fine with that. And then torch. All right, let's head back. So I'm not gonna approach from Rosaria's bed chamber. We're gonna approach from the cleansing chapel. The whole purpose is to go around and deal with that uh, that other giant, who's probably just gonna stomp me into oblivion. I think this will take us there. So I'm, I'm kind of coming to terms with that. Did we take this? I think we did. Yes, we did. I'm gonna bring you back down. Down. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think we're ever gonna use that again. We could summon someone and try to have a little assistance against the uh, the giant. I don't know. I don't know about that. Right. There's the knight here. Oh, and you little jerks. Honestly, I don't think he'll be a threat. I think we can just leave him alone. Um, I will kill you, though. Whoops. Yeah, I think I have to actually get a lot closer for him to notice me. Okay, so... Uh... I'm gonna try to kill some of these slimes first. Yeah, because we have fat rolls no matter what we do in this goop. I think even if I unequipped all my stuff, we would probably still have a fat roll. That seems to just be what's going on here. Oh 
man, you're right there. I'm so afraid of fighting all the slimes. That giant is just gonna ruin my day. Oh, well done. For whatever dumb reason, I had kind of forgot that you could actually attack me. Stupid slimes. Wrong attack. So, do we try to piss off the giant now and deal with him and maybe use that as like a gate to hold him back while we attack his feet or something? Do we, do we give that a shot? That seems like that might be our best bet at this point. Or do we try to get up behind him and maybe just get clobbered? Oh, you're so creepy, you little maggot. Come on. I want to make sure that you're actually coming over here to dance. And also, how much you want to bet there's something back behind the stairs here? Probably enemies. Or an item. Drang hammers. Okay, we're gonna we're not gonna fight. Oh, we're gonna have to fight, aren't we? Roll quickly! Get out of here! No, I don't like anything that's happening right now. Hello. Oh, you you're just you're right there. Oh, hello, slime. I meant to do a jump attack. Gosh, it's so fussy to do in these games. There we go. There we go. Oh man, can we hit the giant from on these stairs here? Is that the best idea ever, or is that the worst idea ever? that do anything? I don't think that did anything. Twenty damage. Okay, run. So I could just sit here and play this game all day long. Not what I meant to do. <laughs> Fire bombs do anything? Four. <laughs> you are sturdy as heck. Swing and a miss. Swing and a miss. How are we doing? We're chipping away. Um, tell you what, uh, I'm gonna do this for quite a while. Quite a while. Like, until the giant's actually dead. And I'll bring you back when something interesting happens. Either me getting... <sighs> me getting killed by my hubris, or the giant dying. Due to cheese. So I'll see you in a few minutes.
not hit me at all when I'm on the stairs here? Oh, this is great. Okay, that actually did not take anywhere near as long as I was expecting it to. Hooray, I cheesed a second giant. And now, your loot is mine. Another Pale Tongue. I wonder if there are any good Covenant rewards for turning in a bunch of Pale Tongues here. Drang armor, oh we have Drang hammers. I don't know what that means. Drang gauntlets, oh you have the whole armor set here, don't you? shoes large titanite shard and four dung pies lovely oh i think that might be our first titanite shard or our first large shard that is pretty cool all right heal up let's see what crazy things await us up above here I don't like the idea of fighting that knight. Yeah. Uh. Oh, there's another knight. Oh, I don't like anything that's going on in this room. Oh, and that guy saw us. Oh, no, this is bad. This is bad. I might be fighting two enemies at a time here. I will cheese this if I have to. I have no shame. We're using the stronger bolts, by the way. Hey, buddy. It's a headshot. That's a shoulder shot. Man, lock on, failing me. Everything failing me. My life. Is this like the edge of your aggro range? Please tell me it is, because that would be phenomenal. Oh, this is great. I will cheese every enemy in this game if I have to. Oh, I didn't like that. Oh, I didn't like that at all. No, we're fine. We're good. We're good. It's all good. I'm back. That's fine. We'll trade a hit there. You know what? I'll give you that one. 
Cathedral Knight Greatsword. Ooh, we probably don't have the decks to wield it. Yeah. Ooh, but that could be fun. Ten decks. Ten decks enables a lot of things for us. Hmm. Ultra Greatsword wielded by the Knights of the Cathedral of the Deep. Highly destructive, if intolerably heavy. How heavy is this? It's only 15. It weighs less than my current Great Axe. Uh, the blade is flattened for use as a strike weapon. Oh, strike slash thrust. So you can thrust with it. That's kind of cool. Um, I guess he did that a couple times, didn't he? Uh, but the point at the end allows for thrusting. Yeah, Stomp. Use one's weight to lunge forward with a low stance and increased poise and follow with a strong attack or a spinning slash. That certainly is a thing. This guy's going to be a jerk, though, because you're probably going to be one of the shieldy ones. Yeah, you're... That's exactly what I was expecting you to be. Dang it. Oh, backstab. Now that I've figured that out, that's so good. Oh, that's such a good combo. Ooh, and you dropped an ember? Okay, so... There's more than just... Yeah, there's going to be a bunch of enemies over here. That's kind of what I'm afraid of. We'll just do this because you're pretty easy to deal with. like the giant would come over here and start taking swipes at me if I hadn't already killed him. He really wasn't actually that threatening. I made him move around and try to attack me once, but it didn't do anything. Hello. What have we here? Yeah, this place is creepy. That could be a, a, just an absolute nightmare if you, uh... Where is the hushed? Oh, you're the blue sentinel guy. The one who just kind of growls. That's cool, you're an actual NPC. Henri of Astora. Are you the other NPC? Trouble. Yeah, that, that is trouble. Beware of mob enemy. So I wonder if that's actually the um, Farron's Legion, I think they're called. So we know that there's two, right? There's uh, Saint What's-His-Face of the Deep. He's one of the Lords of Cinder. He's the blobby one, the like really gross one. But he's like super deep underground. He started, like became a cannibal, started eating people. And they just, they just kind of kept sending more people for him to eat <laughs> and built a church around it that sounds very bloodborne-ish so that's one I totally forget where this comes out by the way i know that this is our shortcut oh the front door oh and across the thing Okay, so we can come with that bonfire over there. Run past all the little blob men. Do, 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 up here, this way. Okay, cool. So we have a, a fairly quick path to get back to the boss fight. That's neat. Yeah, so uh, he, he started eating people. He became a creepy blob monster. They locked him up, like, down below the castle or something. And there's, like, secret passageways where they were... Oh, we're gonna have to fight enemies every time we come through here, though. That sucks. Um, so that, that, there's that whole thing, but I think they said that the, uh, the, the Watchers of the Abyss, or whatever they're called, 
I think Theron's Legion is stationed up here. Yeah, magic sword. Got it. You got it. Kill him. Stab him. Oh. Uh, I think they're stationed up here specifically just like to keep watch on everything. Yeah, you're an NPC. You are not. Horse the Hushed is. God, we have this ember. I don't want to lose it. I also don't have a lot of Estus. I like all of the good phantoms and then... Uh, wasn't there a red phantom that I just walked past? It might have just been this red-skinned person here. I was like, that's a dick move. Just drop a red summoning sign in the middle of all this. <laughs> oh, I might have to try that one of these days. All the more be wary of fire. Yeah, I'm worried about going in here with half health and only six Estus. Maybe I just YOLO it and expect to die. Is that bad? Let's also swap the blood bite out for Estus Ring? Maybe? Maybe the uh, sword ring would be a good idea too. I don't know. Alright. Holy crap, that's a lot of you. Deacons of the Deep. Oh, and there's, like, chanters in the back there, too. Okay. I'd like to deal with the fat one first. Oh, I don't like anything happening here. And they all have candlesticks, so they're all going to start causing problems. Oh, and I think they're, like, reviving each other, or they're passing that around. There's the fire. Hmm. It's like bowling or dominoes or something. Oh my gosh. Do I want to swap over to the other axe, maybe? Or the butcher knife. Ooh, this might be the dumbest idea I've had all day. Oh, and you have fire. Forgot about fire. Oh, hello, everybody else. Okay. But it has, a, like, a huge swinging range. That's, like, the really good thing about this sword. Okay, killed one. So that's significant. We need to kill the glowing ones, as... As I was guessing. Okay. Sharpen. Yeah, it's just going to summon them infinitely, so we have to kill the glowing ones. Got it. It makes sense that after the infinite zombies, we would have an infinite boss. I wish we had, like, a fire resistance ring or something. That would be kind of nice, but it's fine. Butcher's Knife actually seems like a really good choice for this fight. Maybe like a ceremonial dagger thing. Oh my gosh, you're so fat. You have so much health. around this way and see if we can kill the glowing one. He looked like he was in the back of the group. I'm worried for... Oh, he moved. They're passing the glow around. I noticed that right away. Okay, I think they're all getting just a lot stronger. <laughs> I think that's a thing that's happening. Okay, we're gonna go with the other axe now. 
I might swap back over to the giant axe. I don't know. It, that doesn't seem quick enough for me, though. I'm worried about the transformation that's going to happen partway through this fight, because you know they're all going to, like, transform, or this crap is going to happen. <coughs> Excuse me, I need a sip of water. And it goes through the walls? That is not cool at all. Oh, I don't like anything that's happening here. Yeah, I think the blue robe ones are like helping to channel that spell. Oh my gosh. Ooh, that's bad. That's real bad. That's real, real bad. Okay, we're swapping over to much better armor after this fight. Yeah, see, the, the posse that was summoned, these fatties in the blue robes. Oh no, everybody's contributing now. I don't like anything that's happening here. Get out of there. My gosh, I don't like anything that's happening in this fight. Did I just get another Estus back? Because I need that. There, yeah, there's, this is bad. Oh, this is very bad. You're inflicting curse now. So, we're going to be cursed on top of everything else. And Curse in Dark Souls 1 is instant death. You guys need to die immediately! Oh my gosh, you're not gonna stop, are you? I think you're the last one, though. I think that's what's going on here. Okay. New plan. We're going back to the Great X. We're going to two-hand it, we're going to war cry, and we're just going to go nuts. And I'm probably going to die, but I don't have anything else we can do right now. Oh my gosh, Estus. <laughs> <laughs> and we're dead. Okay, but I didn't get die of a curse, so that's that's good. That's good. I didn't die of a curse. Also, I'm looking at the uh, audio. Sorry that I was like yelling in that. It was very loud. It was a very intense, very loud fight. Anything that better protects against fire. Curse might also be good, too. Yeah, um, we might... We might go all in on the light gear for curse. And fire. Yeah, I think the maiden's robe, the maiden's gear, I think that's the way to go. Swapping out all my poise, but look at that. Curse resistance and fire. That's pretty good. Not only is it pretty good, it, it's the best of those two things that we have. And you are the best fire resistance shield, aren't you? Other than the great shield, but that doesn't count. Curse, you are the curse ward great shield. Hmm. Doesn't actually boost my curse resistance stat 
but equipping it would probably okay well it would put us way over the weight threshold so no but um it would probably let us block curses like with the shield and not be cursed because of that that is an interesting idea what are these drang hammers paired hammers of the drang knights descendants from the land known for the legend of the linking of the fire when the drang knights disbanded they scattered across the lands as sellswords they quickly became known for shieldless aggressive tactics that struck fear in the hearts of men spin bash so it's two hammers that we can't wield because we don't have the decks but you would probably um if we equip them just for funsies so we'll like one in the shield but if we two-hand it aha it's one in each hand Ooh, I like that combo. Yeah, there's some interesting things you could do with this. I will not be doing any interesting things with that because I can't wield them. It's still fun. Okay. All right, so we're going in like this. Uh, I will be using another ember before the fight, I think. Yeah, because I like having the extra health. I think that's pretty, pretty important. Uh, we don't need the crossbows, so that's, those are things we can unequip. Uh, I might leave the torch out just in case something bad happens on our way over to the, no, we can, we'll, we'll deal with it if it happens. We'll be fine. Yeah, alright, so next time we're gonna go take them on again. Oh, that was... It's totally doable. I, um... If I'd realized what was happening a bit sooner, I think we totally would have had that. I don't think that's a terribly difficult boss, despite it being a mob of enemies. They're all slow-moving, they don't really have much in the way of physical attacks, although when you get surrounded, like when they're all, they all started, like, jumping on me, that got rough. Anyway, I am rambling, so thank you for joining me, and may the grace of the Twilight Dragon be with you.